numerical pattern. What is the meaning of numerical pattern? First of all, we have Pascal's triangle. This triangle, you don't have to study it, but I will show you the rule of it. Always starts with zero, the, uh, the rules uh, start starting with ones and ending with ones. The first row is one, the second start with one and ending with one, the next one, adding these two ones together to be two, then one plus two equals three, two plus one equals three, the next one, one plus three, four, three plus three, six, three plus one, four, and so on. One plus two, five, four plus six, ten, six plus four, ten, four plus one, five, and so on. And this is called Pascal's triangle. The numerical pattern. What is the meaning of numerical pattern? Is the sequence of numbers arranged according to a certain rule. For example, the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on is a numerical pattern. Which is the uh, rule is each number is more than its predecessor or preceding or previous. All of these have the same meaning. So you can use 
the word which uh, is easier for you. Again, adding 3. 
Okay, so I will complete 14 plus 3 because they are the same number, so I continue adding 3. 14 plus 3 equals 17. 17 plus 3 equals 20. What about the previous one? I want to turn back. How? By making the opposite operation. The opposite operation of addition is subtraction. Yes, so I subtract 3 from 8 to give me the previous number. So 8 minus 3 equals 5. 5 minus 3 equals 2. If you look at all of it, you will see 2 plus 3 equals 5, 5 plus 3 equals 8, and so on. The last one is 480, 492, 486, 498, 492, 500. I'm confused. The number is once. Increase, then decrease, increase, then decrease. I see here. 480 becomes 492. How? By adding 12. Then it becomes 86. It decreased 86. How? By what? By subtracting here. Subtracting 8. Uh, sorry, subtracting 6. Then it becomes 498. It again increased by 12. Then it becomes 92. So subtracting 6. I think it's clear now. Okay. Uh, the first adding 12, then subtract. Add 12, then subtract 6. Here, again, adding 12, it will give you 504. The next one I want to subtract 6. 500 minus 6 equals, yes, 498. Then adding 12, 498 uh, plus 12 equals 500. Uh, we have finished our lesson. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much and see you soon. Goodbye.